<sighs> I heard it's that time of year. Time to wrap it up. Wrap it up. Um, into an error, I guess. <laughs> but um, guys, welcome back to the vlog of the vlog. It's yours truly, the one you miss the most. The girl of your dreams. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The best unpaid comedian out there. And it's time for the 2023 wrap up. Let's get into the 2023 wrap up. For, let me mute this because I got like a list of topics we're gonna go over. So I don't really know where to start because I can say wholeheartedly that 2023 was a year. And I'm saying a year full of losses and a year full of wins. Okay, so I won't I wouldn't say it was like equally balanced though. I don't maybe. I don't know. I'm going to let y'all interpret what y'all want to interpret as I go on. That makes sense? Okay. Okay, cool. Um, First, I think... <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. <laughs> like, I haven't vlogged before. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, I just needed a minute. So, first, I'd like to point out to y'all that a Reese obsession developed. I have a bag of Reese trees in my refrigerator. I don't know what you're gonna do with that information, but I just like to point that out. I also tricked myself to eating onions, like not cooked, like raw onions on a Wegman sub only. I won't have it. I won't eat them any other way. And of course, I'm still in love with Chipotle. Like, let's just be real. Chipotle is good, period. And if it's not good to you. Then you made it wrong. Like, I'm trying to put two and two together. Like, what is we doing? <laughs> but um, let's let's get real now. Let's get real. All right. This year I had a lot of big accomplishments. First, I would like to say I had an intern at the court courthouse this year. I mentioned that in a previous video. And that was one of the best experiences I ever had. Like for my future profession like just being there I know that I want to continue going down my path to be a supreme court justice one day like I just felt the sense of belonging like I don't, it just made me feel so good and then um I had a lot of opportunities sports related which is kind of hypocritical because this indoor and outdoors I mean this indoor and volleyball season had me feeling some type of way about sports. Like I wanted to quit and be done. But um, I went to the Dome for the first time ever in my life. Like the Syracuse Dome or whatever. And when I tell you, I was just in awe. I was just like, yo, this is crazy. <laughs> it was like such a good experience. Um, I also went to Kentucky for the first time. Not Kentucky. Kansas? Kentucky, Kansas? I th no, I think it was Kentucky. I went to Kentucky for the first time ever to the Ark Museum. And that was a great experience in itself. I And the thing is, y'all supposed to get a vlog on that. It just beat me up at this point. I'm sorry. I still got footage from there that I needed to show y'all. I might... Okay, so let me know if y'all want a random... Random parts. No. Random clips of 2023. Like, I have... Would y'all like that? I don't know, cause there's there's a lot. I I was trying. <laughs> don't shoot me. I was trying. But um, I met new people, built strong relationships, and just the uh, got closer to people that I already like knew. But like, time was like, it maybe y'all time to you know what I'm saying. Um, losses. I lost my god, one of my god moms this year, or like somebody very important to me in August, and that hit me kind of like it hit me rough. Like I didn't expect it to happen. And you, well, you never really expect death, but 
that whole really just caught caught us by surprise and it's it's crazy um and then other losses like certain relationships and all this that and the third yeah it hurted but at the same time going through it only made me stronger to prepare for this upcoming year so yes yeah, sad but life is life of course you still think about it sometimes and be like dang but then eventually you just be like hey it just makes me a stronger person um enough with the sad stuff like i think that's the only sad part of putting this video because like i don't talk about nothing sad i also been diving into my oh natural okay like yo girl natural hair been out she been popping the slick bags the we haven't did two ponytails only one time. And some, I was at a track meet. Somebody's like, you're just so pretty. I'm like, thank you, baby. Thank you. Like, she was so nice. But, like, we leaving. I left them two ponytails alone. That was, like, a freshman, sophomore kind of ordeal going on. Um, <laughs> but, anyways, even though I've been natural, I had a wig on the other day. But I snatched that thing off. Because I was at practice and it's all hot and sweaty. I'm like, mm -mm, no baby. But, um, yes. Okay, I just need a moment. I have lashes on right now. But realistically, I have not been wearing lashes. I've just been with like the all natural face just because. <sighs> Y'all grow up and so busy. School been kicking my behind, extracurriculars. Like, I'm not complaining because I'm extremely blessed at all my opportunities and everything that's given to me. But I'm only human. I'm not superwoman. So it's, huh, mm, I don't be having time. But then I'm like, I don't need to wear it. Any, anything I put on is a plus because I'm already naturally beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's about what's on the inside than the outside. And I know on the inside and like spiritually I'm beautiful. So it's like, I'm not worried. My natural light will glow. I'll be a a princess. <laughs> I don't know. So I got my permit. Um, in 2024, I will be driving. I won't let you. I don't know when I'll be driving yet, but it's coming. Vroom vroom. It's coming. Okay. And when I get this license, I'm gonna tell you. I want to be driving for food. Wendy's, Chipotle, Chick-fil-A. I might even want to go to the Cheesecake, Cheesecake Factory if I'm feeling kind of want to spend some coins. I don't know. But I want to drive for the food. See, that sounds kind of bad, bad and bad. Like, I, relax. But still, that's my main purpose for whooping the vehicle. But, um... Let's talk about religion for a second. So, growing up, I always was taken to church. Grandma, mom, like sibling, whatever. We went. We went to church, okay. But it wasn't until I want to say this year, I finally understood why I was going for myself. Like going not because I was told to go, going because hey, I want to get closer to God. I want to build my relationship. I want to know why jesus jesus died on the cross for us and then was rose three days later you know what i'm saying like i wanted to build that relationship for me and i can honestly say best decision ever and when i was like really learning for myself experience and stuff praying fasting journaling like doing doing what felt right I could tell, what would I say, the results of it, like, the effects it had on me, per se. I have another video, like, I was just talking how, like, it was it was getting, like, kind of difficult, like, not difficult, as in difficult in that way, but, like, like, so stressful. I just, all I could do was just pray and just worship and all this, that, and third, because that's all I felt like I could do because realistically sometimes you don't want to tell 
you know, friends and family what's going on. You want to deal with it by yourself. But you're never really by yourself. And I really came to terms with that and really started understanding. And for this upcoming year, I'm going to be loud in what I believe in. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe that he He died for me, that his love is unconditional. He loved me wholeheartedly. I believe in all this, that, and the third. And I feel like since I believe in him, all the blessings, the surrounding, the people around me can feel that too because I'm like a beacon of light. Like I'm sharing the gospel that I'm learning with others. Either they can take it or discard it. Either way, I know I'm doing my part. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this upcoming year, I'm also going to believe in myself more. I know. <laughs> You're probably like, girl, what are you talking about? Like you just look so wow, 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 wow. I mean, yes, I'm very opinionated and all this and the third, but like, I'm going to truly invest in myself. You got it? Okay, cool. And what I mean by that is if I feel strongly about a way, I'm not going to let someone persuade me from doing differently. I'm not going to let somebody's opinion affect how I feel about somebody else. Realistically, the second part, I don't really do that now, but earlier in this year around january february i did have someone like who was a, like a very important piece of my life affect or dictate it how i dealt with one other person and at the time i'm like you're not thinking about it but when like months pass you're like what was the problem here and then you go back and think like oh i mean you live and you learn there are seasons of drought and then there's seasons of prosperity the garden grows so i mean you live and you learn so i'm not saying i regret anything i take everything as a lesson it's not a loss it's a lesson i know what to do for the next time or if somebody needs the help i can speak from experience because i've been through it already and guys i'm going to be more serious with the content i promise because <laughs> I promised I'm gonna make sure I do it because like I hate freaking promises I'm gonna really I promise to be more consistent that's one of my goals for 2024 as well like bow, bow, bow. like let's get into action because I feel like we can make magic we can make things shake like duh <laughs> all right let me chill let me chill but um boom this year, I was also the football team manager for my school. Erin, I'm not going to lie. That was fun. I went to every game but one. I had, I had, we didn't win, but I had a good time. And built stronger connections in that in itself, I, per se. And if y'all can see the back, I got like a NISFA pass. Yo, girl's a state representative, Okay. When that opportunity presented itself, I didn't want to tell nobody about it. And then others around me was like, you need to brag on yourself. You need to do this, that, and third, blah, blah, But if you know me, like know me in real life, you know I don't talk about myself. And you know I'm like, I'm always giving something. Like I'm a giver. I'm not really a taker. I'm a giver. And I like people to do stuff for me without me having to say something because like... If you love me the say you if you love me the way you say you do, why would I have to tell you to do something for me that you know I would like? That never really sat right with me. Mm. Tell me how you feel about that. If somebody loves you, they should know. No, I'm not even gonna say that. I'm not even gonna say that because you have to tell somebody have to you have to tell somebody how you want to be loved so they know because we're not perfect people and we're gonna make mistakes. And if you don't speak up for yourself, how is somebody supposed to know what's bothering you? How can they love you? How can they accommodate you in a way? That makes sense. And I mean, I know, but like, I don't want the video to be like mad long. Cause do y'all, how y'all feel about long videos? Like, I'm really confused. Like I try to make my videos under 15 minutes because like, I never know if y'all would like watch all the way. But honestly, I don't, I'm going to stop caring because I run my mouth a lot. 
like I like to talk, I like to eat, and I like to sleep. I do them three things very well. Yeah, very well. <laughs> so, you know, this channel is all about me. But like really not all about me because there be special appearances all the time and I don't know. Realistically, I'm just doing what makes me happy and talking makes me happy. Okay. Sorry if the love vlog is low everywhere, but like to sum up this year, it's like I'm sorry for saying like all the time. But to sum up this video or this year as a whole, it's just like so many random things. It's hard to stay on topic because if I get on one topic, then I start trailing off to another. But um, this year I did a lot of work with little kids, like the littles. And like reading to them, spending time with them, playing with them, watching them read to me. And I absolutely love that. And I know in this lifetime I want to be a CEO of a Fortune 500 company in a Supreme Court of Justice. But I also think I want to do something with the littles. Everybody keeps saying I'm gonna be a teacher and or a coach and da, da da da. But realistically, I can't tell you what's gonna happen because I don't know what's gonna happen. But even if I just start like one day in my future, I start a charity for the littles, like literacy charity or just something to give back, I will. Cause it's real if we being so real, it starts with them. It starts with them. And I'm young. Like, I'm I'm nowhere close to 50, but I'm nowhere close to 10. Well, let me not be dramatic. But still, people under us are like our legacies, too, because it's almost time to graduate high school. And I, I say I like, you know, metaphorically, like the passing of the torch. I don't know who I want to give my torch to. And I'm... I want somebody like to pass the torch to. I want it to be someone who's not afraid to speak up for others. Someone who's about their business. Someone who's compassionate. And you know what I'm saying? Like someone worthy of the torch. But it's like, what is y'all doing? And obviously, no, they not, they're not me and I'm not them. So I can't be like too picky. But at the same time. Passing a torch just to someone, it's it's just a big deal to me. Like I feel like it's such a big deal, uh, big deal to me. Um, I want to travel a lot next year. Like I want to travel a lot more. I just feel like my hometown isn't for me. Like yeah, it's cool. The people cool or like however you want to say it, but being here, it's not for me. To me, I feel like being here is just like dimming my light or like not letting me unlock my fullest potential yet. And I'm excited for the unknown, the mystery, and this that and third. Um, I still don't party. I still don't smoke. I still don't drink. Call me born, call me a nerd, call me what you want it. That's just me. And I don't know. Um, maybe that's all for the 2023 wrap up segment of this. Maybe I'll have a surprise in the next clip for y'all. I guess we'll never know. For all the lawyer, the loyal watchers out there, or who are all the ones that was complaining about, when are you gonna post again? When are you gonna post again? I love y'all because this is for y'all. I'm doing this for you. The 2023 wrap up. One thing I learned this year is that not everyone's going to be patient and that you have to learn other people when you work around other people. And something that I'm looking forward to next year is, I don't even know. I just want to be better mentally and academically. Hey, y'all. I think one thing I learned this year is that you can't stress about everything. You just got to live life in the moment or else you're going to miss things while they're happening and you just gotta do stuff like if you're unsure about doing something because you're scared the outcome's gonna be bad you should still do it because it's better to know what happened than to regret not doing it facts 
and next year you just gotta do everything for the plot just do things have fun happy new year hey y'all bestie in the building <laughs> anyways um let me think something i learned this year that i feel like everybody should take on is ain't nobody permanent nobody like when i tell y'all nobody no one's permanent like so they're gonna leave like it is what it is you can try your hardest you can do all you want to do to keep them and you know they're gonna leave so i feel like that's some good advice to hold on to when you go into next year um hmm, what else oh something i got for next year everybody yeah 2024 oh we trolling all 2024 yeah i i, 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 I would know that thank you for watching Mwah.